Alright, well, I, um, just spray painted my classic controller and put all the buttons back in. Yeah. And, uh, I pretty much just spray painted it and I'm gonna make the cord go out front. So we'll see how that turns out. Because I don't like it coming out the back. But that's just me. And actually, what I had to do was right in the middle here, there's normally a bar in between here. I actually had to cut through there. I don't know if you can tell. Well, it's really hard to see. But I cut right through there with actually just scissors. Yeah, I'm cheap. And then right through there, I cut a little hole, which is the back where used to this have been that little button. And uh, yeah, I just took that out because you pretty much have to. So if you don't really need this or want it. That's for those two holes in the back, then, uh, yeah, you can do that, too. So I'll put a finish on, uh, how it turns out on the final. Yay. Are now buttons. Alright, now I'm going to take this cord. And then just bring it up like that. Oh, okay. I got these screws wrong. I had to put in those. When I put in these stupid black ones. And then it got all messed up. So, yeah. Make sure you got your screws right. Alright, so I finished. Uh, cord going out. A little hole where it's supposed to be. All the buttons. So, yeah. Alright, let, let's test it a bit. Yeah, tomorrow. Just try here. I have to hold the camera too, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Ugh. Ugh. I guess I'll have to do it with one hand. No, I can't really. Oh no, this guy's coming. Oh yeah, that's the jump. There we go. that I can move. Now, first with the analog. Do, ah, do the thing. And yeah, so it works. Yay. That's all I really need. Right, I hope this helps in some way or another. Or you just thought it was cool. Yeah. Alright.